We lost my son to suicide as a result of mental illness. Uh, I was totally unprepared uh, for, well, for his death, for one thing. I never saw that coming, and uh, I really wasn't um, prepared for uh, how to deal with the issues of mental illness. I, we had, I'd never experienced it. We, it, it, it wasn't uh, part of our family. Virtually every family in this valley at some point will be touched by either mental illness and or substance abuse. We are certainly not immune. We've seen both an increase in the amount of stress on our local residents and an increase in depression and decreased access to mental health services. What this does is people present to the emergency department in crisis when they have no place else to go. But what we really focus on and what's really our passion and our practice here at St. Luke's Family Medicine is the continuum of care, the ongoing relationships with our patients. And it's so painful, just literally painful for us to see patients be in these significant emotional crises with, with us not being able to have the team and the services that really highlights the mental health area as being by far the most significant unmet need that we have in our community. He went away to college and unfortunately I think that's when his symptoms started to show. Dex needed help. So when he returned to the valley to get that help, I had been challenged by a feeling of a lack of resources or fear not knowing where to turn. And so I'm really moved that there is a turn in the entire community community and now I think brilliantly led by St. Luke's that we're going to start paying attention. So this initiative is basically a partnership between St. Luke's Wood River Medical Center and the philanthropic base of the Wood River community to say we're going to provide professional board certified psychiatrists licensed professional counselors and integrate them with the existing medical professionals in the community to provide a broad base of outpatient services to treat mental illness on a daily basis with appropriate support and early intervention. The ability for us to be able to get help from our community is so essential in, in this area. That makes such a difference for, for us as practitioners, but more importantly for our patients and therefore our community. After losing Dex, we feel an exceptional um, desire to be advocates in this. To spare as, someone else for going As painful as it is, I think that the energy could get rolling to really make a big difference. Mm -hmm.